so hot drink. Um, I'll take that mega potion there. Now what? Now what am I gonna do? Um, I do know that there is um, a Volvodon. I can I can do Volvodon hunt. I don't know what I want to do at this point. Um, what should I do? I, I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Well, I, I want to use this hammer one last time, so how about we go for... Island Menace, capture Malfestio. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that. The subquest is uh, mount and topple the monster twice. I might not be able to do that, but I don't really care. Now what I really want here is I want to get that feline insomnia. That that'd be awesome. If I could get that. Insomnia. Hold on. Every meal I try is the same... W what is up with this? What is up with this conspiracy? Seriously? Every single meal I choose gives me the same set of... You know what? Yeah. Um, I'll just go for this. Insomnia. There we are. That's weird. Every single meal I picked gave me the exact same set of skills. That's strange. Beyond strange, rather. Um, I'm gonna put the hot drinks away, because I don't need them. I have some Trank Bombs of my own. So let's go. Gonna capture us an owl. And I do happen to need wing talons from this monster, so I'll be sure to break at least one of the wings. And of course, because we're on the deserted island, that means I get to hear that awesome theme. The theme that I never get tired of hearing. Paintballs at the ready. And I'm good to go. I think Malfestio starts in area 3. So, that's where I'm going. And the Aptonoth certainly seem to agree with me there. They're acting up. There you are. We meet again, Malfestio. Is it just me, or is she significantly bigger than the last one? Yeah, she seems really big. Oh, I ad oh I adapted right through the the cloud of dust. That that's what that was. I wanted to mount, but I guess not. Not while the confusion was there. Okay, while she's focusing on the cats, I just want to grab this. Just a wyvern deer. Yeah, you're gonna have to do better than that, Melfestio. You're not going to hit me with that. And even if you did, I actually have Insomniac this time. So the joke's on you, Joker. What was that, what was that all about? She's just going to let it sit there. Okay, come over here, please. There we go! Ride the Malfestio! 
Oh, she's already getting her groove on. Yep, keep doing that. Okay, time to go for the wing. You know, maybe I should have taken a hammer with better sharpness. I mean, this was a smart decision to bring a fire hammer because I'm pretty sure that's one of Malfestio's weaknesses. But uh, on the other hand, yeah, the lack of sharpness is uh, a problem. You're not going to hit me with that hypnosis. Sorry. Oh. See, even from behind, that aerial ace will hit you. Spinning meteor is ready. Awesome. Ear broken. I want to hit that wing. There we go. Huh, this Malfestio is um, not putting up much resistance, honestly. Maybe it was a good idea to bring this hammer. I've already broken three of her parts. Yeah, I guess the elemental damage is really making a difference. I need to sharpen. Oh, she just sprinting out of here. Look at her go. Now, because she's tired, I'd wager she's off to go eat something. That's just my guess. Where are you off to? Area 2. Now, because I seem to be doing more damage, I might want to be careful here. I don't want to accidentally knock her out, or, sorry, kill her, because this is a capture quest. Gotta be mindful of that. Just like that, she's mad. This is where she becomes absolutely relentless. Gotta watch out for all of her moves. I still love that, how she rotates her head like that. I see you back there. Oh, dodge that aerial ace. See? It's, it's, it's like what I was saying earlier. Confusion. It doesn't matter once you're used to it. You can still fight just as good. Yeah, I know confusion a lot of people find irritating, but once you get used to it, it's like it's not even there. Just get good, people. Oh, broke something else on her. Oh wait, no, that was the head. I didn't break the head beforehand. Oh, that must have just been the tail. Okay, that that makes a little bit more sense. So I broke the head just now. Okay. I thought I had broken it beforehand, but I guess not. That was the tail, I see. Everything's making sense. Yeah. 
wing. Oh, that was awesome. You can't deny that. She was about to do her confusion attack, and I just knocked her out of the sky. Like a boss. And where are you off to now, Melfestio? Area 5, it seems. I can deal with that. Okay, get your feathered rear end over here. Or not. I guess I'll just come to you. Master of the Adept. Dare I say that I'm adept at adept? Because I am. Alright, hit her in the face. Now, I might want to be careful. Oh, yep. Limping. I was, I was just about to say, I want to be careful. And, uh, that's, that's good. I'm glad I was careful there. So, um, she sleeps in area 3, I think. But she might be heading to here to area... Yeah, she's heading back to 2. Show me your shadow. Shock trap. Shock trap deployed. You're in that Melfestio. Yeah, that's what I thought. And there we go. She's so cute when she sleeps. It's kind of ironic because half the time when you're fighting her, she's trying to put you to sleep. And now the tables have turned, Malfestio. What now? Honestly, I know. I mean, I know I've said multiple times in the past that I really like giving monsters nicknames, but I just can't seem to find a good nickname for Malfestio. Honestly. Um, any wing talons? No wing talons. Wow. This is gonna turn out to be like a Velocidrome and the heads, isn't it? No wing talons. I might have to start farming Malfestio. But anyway, as I was saying... Um, I just don't have a really good nickname for Malfestio. A lot of people call her Houdini, which honestly is a very clever one, but I like coming up with my own nicknames, you know? Something fresh, something that no one else uses to, m to make it a little more uh, unique, I guess. Okay, um, I believe Junior from Moga Village wants to speak with me here. Good to see you're okay. So it turns out what those kids saw really was a Melfestio. I'm glad you nabbed it. Now the whole village knows what to watch out for. If I'm not mistaken, you got a humspun conk as part of your reward, yeah? It's from those kids. They love the things. So they had the guild get one for you too. If you take it to the smithy, it should prove pretty darn useful. One more thing. The kids told me to tell you thanks. Sweet bunch of rascals they are. You know what just occurred to me, viewers? I never read the quest description. The idiocy of Cottonmouth255 knows no bounds.